We probably all know Technoblade, the guy that beat Minecraft with a steering wheel, the guy that was involved in multiple Bowers win streak world records. 1808! A Easily one of the greatest PvPers of all time. But is he actually that good? Turns out back when he recorded videos of him PvPing, almost no one was actually even decent at the game, resulting in him fighting noobs only. Also, Technoblade had an insanely low ping, at its lowest close to zero. In today's video, I will take a look at Technoblade, his playstyle, his enemies, and how good a PvP he actually is. The Myth Technoblade, the man, the myth, the legend. He doesn't need a sword to fight people, he doesn't lose video games, in fact, the last time he lost was in the 60s. The 1960s. YouTubers of all sorts fear him, but is he really that good? When watching Technoblade videos, I realized something very odd. We don't have pants and we're slapping people with our meat. Let's go. No, not that. Take a look at the following clip. I'm gonna make Minecraft Let's Plays with just some guy in the room with me just watching, like, what is this idiot doing? Well, that guy wasn't really the greatest at PvP, but surely this is an exception, right? Turns out most of recorded Technoblade PvP happens between the Blade himself and, sorry to say it like that, absolute noobs. That is because back when Technoblade uploaded a lot of PvP-related content, the Minecraft PvP community wasn't that skilled yet. Another factor is the ping. Technoblade has a really low ping. And if I say really low, I don't mean like 40 or maybe 60 ms, I mean this. So now that I'm at college, a lot of people have been asking me, oh Technoblade, have you met your roommate yet? Uh, what do you think of him? And yeah, I have met my roommate, his name's Hypixel. And so I thought, oh no, maybe Technoblade is not as skilled as we all thought. The technical perspective. And so I looked into the technical perspective behind Techno's PvP style. I consider myself pretty experienced when it comes to PvP, so I understand how it works. Just so you can follow me here, I will quickly go over how PvP works prior to 1.9. You click this video to see Technoblade and now you get in a free PvP guide on top of that. Basically, you want to hit your opponent more often than they hit you. To do this, you want to deal more KB than them. Sprinting makes you deal more KB hitting an entity stops your sprint. So you reset your sprint after every hit and using movement and KB to keep your enemy at a distance so they can't hit you. In more advanced situations, you can use projectiles or a fishing rod to stop your enemy's sprint. Now that we understand how PvP works, let's look at Technoblade's PvP style again. Technoblade is a master at rod PvP. Take a look at this clip for example. Resetting his opponent's sprint, landing a few hits, resetting his sprint after every hit to deal more KB. This is a another example of Technoblade's biggest strengths when it comes to PvP. Perfect rod hits followed by some extremely planned and precise movement, strafing, keeping a distance to the enemy in a way that it is almost impossible to counter without any projectiles. Let's take a look at some non-projectile PvP. Let us take a look at this Bellwiz team wipe. When Technoblade hits off the first enemy, you can't really see his movement, but fighting the next enemy in the enclosed space while waiting for the TNT to open the bed, you can see some perfect movement. A sprint hit to hit the enemy into the TNT knockback followed by an S-tap to get out of range, boom, Technoblade saved the day. And it is not like I selectively looked for good Technoblade clips, I actually just went to the Technoblade Bearwars and Skywars playlist, clicked on a random video and chose the first PvP fight I could find. Technoblade's PvP is flawless. He is using every known technique in all of PvP perfectioned to an extent where it is hard to do anything against him. And when I say every known PvP technique, I mean it. Look at this fight, do you notice something? At this point in the fight, Technoblade stops swinging his sword for a second, even though it doesn't seem like his enemy is too far away. This is called hit selecting. One of the most famous people to utilize this technique is Kaizek1234, who admitted to using it in a 1v1 against Specular Potato, one of the best PvPers in the community, resulting in Kaizek comboing Specular and winning the 1v1. Oh my god, they suck. Dude. How? I, How I you just, combo? I could select. <laughs> I apologize. I just did it by habit. Especially when having a high ping and or poorly registering hits, which is pretty common on high pixel, hit selecting is insanely overpowered. It basically works by you pausing your hits for a second to use less resetted sprints and tactically starting your hits again when your enemy is in the air, resulting in your hits to register better and a few benefits in the overall sprint knockback side of the fight. Now let's take a look at our Technoblade clip again. As Technoblade realizes he has taken a lot of knockback and misaiming badly, he hit selects 
hits, lowering the distance to his enemy and ensuring his hits to register, re-aims and gets a back combo. This is what I call skillful non-projectile PvP. Technoblade at his best. Now you could still argue that Technoblade only looks like a pro PvPer because he only fights bad people in most of his videos and has a good ping. While the ping thing actually affects a PvP when fighting someone that is as good as you, it is a little more complicated than that and I will analyze how much ping affects PvP in a future video so be sure to subscribe for free. If only we had something to prove or disprove the first argument, maybe a clip of Technoblade fighting actual pro PvPers? Well, let me introduce you to the following clips. In this clip, Technoblade on one of his alt accounts is fighting against Calvin by many considered one of the best if not the best Minecraft PvPer of all time. Here he shows many tactics that are far from mainstream and deep into the rabbit hole of pure sweaty tryhardy PvP. For example, these rod dodges or his flawless counter against Calvin's attempted crit hit by rod hitting him out of the air into a combo. I am sure you are also all familiar with the infamous Dream vs Technoblade $100,000 duel. I don't know if you're aware of this, but not only is Dream a master at 1.9 plus PvP, but he is also an OG 1.8.9 PvP tryhard. Any evidence of this is no longer on the internet, but we can see this for example in the Dream Boat Clutch. This level of accuracy when crafting resulting from Dream's sub PvP past implies that Dream has an unbelievable amount of experience in PvP. When I play on MCPVP, which is a soup PvP server back in the day, you had to craft mushroom soup really quickly. And so always, you would, you would always put your bowls and your two mushrooms in the same place where the wood is on this boat clutch. You would always have them in the exact same place. And sometimes you would need to craft mushroom stew really quickly because you're getting crit out. Soup heals you in MCPVP. That's kind of like very, very, very like muscle memory back to like when I was playing in 2011 to 2015. With that in mind, it is safe to say that Dream isn't an easy enemy to combat. In fact, we can even see Technoblade missing rots on Dream during the duel. Without his amazing strategies, Techno wouldn't have been able to win. To show an example, Technoblade lures Dream into to this position to be able to punch him onto this plateau, resulting in Technoblade being able to low ground his opponent. Another example of Techno's strategy is him stalling Dream with the bow to regen a few hearts when he gets low. Having looked at these examples, I think it is safe to say Technoblade isn't just good because of his ping. He isn't just good against noobs, but actually is able to battle a few of the most talented PvPers in all of Minecraft 1.8.9 PvP. Technoblade is actually good at PvP. PVP.